So something's bothering me. It's almost list time again. It's almost time for album of the year type of thing. Like soon, very soon, within like a couple weeks, right? And I went back and like uh, reviewed some of my lists and, you know, there are certain choices that, that I want to redo. And I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to correct a list. I'm going to go back to 2020. Now, I only get one correction per year. If there's an album that's really irritating me where I placed it, or maybe I didn't even place it anywhere, or it could be good or bad, it doesn't matter. Um, that's what I'm going to do here. This is 2020's list. There's an album that... I mean, I placed it in the top 10, so it wasn't forgotten about. And it was still high up on the list. But I think I had it at number 8. And in uh, the last four years now, it came to my attention that this album should be at number 1 which is kind of sacrilegious, sacrilegious um, because that would mean it would knock out a Catatonia album. That year I had Catatonia City Burials at number one. Love that album. Still, I still love that album, but I think that's going to number two because the correction on this list is... Um, this was the best progressive metal album of the year and the best progressive album in some time. This is from um, one of the originators. It was Fate's Warning. Yeah. I think I got into the frame of mind that I need to look for something new and it's got to be something really on the cutting edge of something for me to put it at number one. When I look at it that way, Catatoni City Burials didn't, um, it wasn't breaking new ground for them at all. It was just Catatonia being Catatonia. It was a little different, yes, but it still wasn't like, whoa, this is so crazy or anything. And that's the same way with Long Day, Good Night, man. Um, this album is really overlooked and it's overlooked by fans of fate's warning as well like i go back and i i look at some people's placement of it i've seen this i've seen some place it at number 13 of 13 albums that's insane okay i know it's all subjective and everybody's list can be whatever you want and that's true except for if it goes against what i think then it's unacceptable and it's unacceptable put bleh, 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 unacceptable to put that album low on your list this is everything fate's warning has been and is just wrapped up in a tight ball the progressive elements here are just strong and in your face the songs are heavy there's some very heavy thrashy moments throughout here there's beautiful sublime moments there's everything you would want and um the longest shadow of the day is just it encapsulates what that band is all about it's 11 and a half minutes of pure just bliss for the ears now it's mainly instrumental and it just shows the interplay between the band members everybody shines it is a beautiful song the album in its entirety is incredible. This is a great album. This is the best album of 2020. This is my um, correction for that list. Fate's Warning, Long Day Good Night, number one. Catatonia, number two. That's it. That's, that's all I'm doing here. Um, but really, if you haven't given that album a chance, 
I suggest going back to it. It is, it is amazing. A great album, 72 minutes, I think. So it's a long album, but it's just beautiful. Beauty personified in music. It's that damn good. And it's got to be higher on everybody's list. I think if people go back to it and listen to it and give it another shot, I think people will hear how amazing that album is. The band itself, of course, is amazing. If you're a fan of progressive metal, you know Fate's Warning and you know how damn good they are and how important they are in their genre. This album, though, and I hope that hell it's not their last it looks to be their last up to, uh, what, 2023. There was interviews with um, with the vocalist saying that uh, they had no intention of writing new music for Fate's Warning. And that is unfortunate. But just this year we had, you know, a bit of a Fate's Warning reunion with the main two guys in there coming together for North Sea Echoes. And that'll be on my list as well. Very different. Very uh, much more low-key. But fantastic as well. But but here it is, yeah. just I'll stop babbling, but Fate's Warning, Long Day, Good Night is my correction for 2020. And I will do another one for 2021. I don't know what that's going to be yet because I haven't checked my list. Maybe there's nothing. Maybe I was perfect that year, but I doubt it. I bet there'll be something that I missed or want to move, and I will be back with that. And thank you for listening. Goodbye.